What's going on YouTube, GS9 right here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the Toonskid iOS system recovery in order to fix various issues with your iPad, iPhone or iPod Touch. This program is available for both Windows and Mac OS. There is also a free trial available and it can fix a ton of problems, 150 plus to be more precise. It can fix your device if it's stuck in the white Apple logo screen, recovery mode, black screen, boot loop, frozen screen, white screen. If it failed an iOS update or restore failure or something like that and it no longer boots. For example, if you are jailbroken and you somehow manage to break your device, you will be able to bring it back to life with this program and it's actually quite beginner friendly compared to other methods. Now this program is available for both Windows and Mac OS and it looks the same on both Windows and Mac OS compared to iTunes or Finder or whatever. Don't get me wrong, that will work too, but this one is actually quite easy to understand and this one can also put your device in recovery mode or exit recovery mode with just one button. So amongst the problems that this can fix, as I said, black screen boot loops if the device shows connect to iTunes, but also other issues that are more subtle, like for example your device has no service all the time or it drops calls or whatever. Now you should keep in mind that this program doesn't work for any hardware issues, only software issues. It should be obvious, but if you're completely new to iOS repairing and stuff like that, you should keep in mind that you cannot fix any hardware issue with a program. So if the motherboard is bad or there is a chip inside, that is no longer working and that's the reason the device doesn't power on anymore, you wouldn't be able to fix it with this program. However, if it's a software issue, this could be fixed with this. It says in here iOS will also be updated to the latest version available, so keep that in mind as well. If you're jailbroken, you will lose your jailbreak. So I'm gonna press start over here and you have two options available, one that will retain your data like photos and contact and music and videos and whatever, and one that will remove everything. Now normally you would go with the standard one instead of the advanced one because the standard one will attempt to update your iOS and repair everything without removing your data. However, if that doesn't work for some reason, especially on jailbroken devices, if you messed something up in the VAR partition or whatever with, I don't know, files or something or maybe a rogue tweak, it may not work with the standard mode. And in that case, you will go with the advanced mode, but this one will remove absolutely everything from the device. So everything that you don't have a backup for will be completely gone. For the sake of this video, I will go with the standard mode over here and press next. Now as you can see it automatically detected what kind of device I have even though it's in recovery mode and it doesn't boot past that because of a jailbreak mishap. So you can see it detected that it's iPad mini 4. The model has also been detected. You can see there are two models for this and I would totally be confused on which one to click but the program did in fact recognize what model it is and what iOS versions are available. And yes indeed 15.4.1 is currently the latest version available on this. If you already know that you have an IPSW for this firmware here, you can definitely specify it here, but I don't, so I'm gonna press download. And as you can see, the download procedure starts right away. It's over five gigs in size, so this is going to take some time, even though I have good internet. So I'm gonna be right back once this completes. All right, so it says firmware has been downloaded successfully. At this point, we can just start the restore process by pressing repair. So as you can see, it says now unzipping the firmware. At this point, it's basically on autopilot. You don't have to do anything, just don't touch the device, don't unplug it, don't press any buttons, everything will be basically done automatically. That's the beauty of programs like this, they basically hold your hand on the whole process. And at this point it says fixing the iOS. Right now the device shows the Apple logo and a progress bar, which is normal, it means that the device is doing the repair process in the background. You should let it do the repair process because it will take a while. You can see right now it's 6%, so this will take about 10 minutes or so, so I'm gonna be right back once it's done. Alright, so about 10 minutes have passed, more or less, and as you can see it says repair completed. Please check whether your device can boot normally. Right now the device does show the Apple logo, like it's booting, but I'm gonna tell you it's not going to boot straight through, it's going to show another progress bar like it's restoring. That one is actually part of the restore, even though this completed over here on the computer, so do not worry. That may take another 5 or 6 minutes as well, and after that it will boot normally. I'm gonna have a picture right now on the screen how it looks like, and don't don't worry if you see that, it's normal. I'm gonna press done over here and we can close the program now and press exit 
and that's it. And we're going to wait for the device to finish installing iOS and then I'm going to connect it to the computer to show you if it works or not. So I'm going to be right back. Alright, so after a couple more minutes the device has fully booted and it says in here software update completed. And I'm going to press continue and that's it. It's going to go through the normal setup over here. I'm not going to set up any of those because it takes time. I'm not going to set up a passcode right now but you should definitely do so. The long terms and conditions we're going to press agree, don't share anything with Apple and get started and that's it. The device has been fully updated and it now booted and it works over here. You can see that it also kept my applications like YouTube and Pentagram and so on. Those were not deleted because I chose the option to not delete them. However, as you can see over here it does run the latest version of iOS right now so I wouldn't be able to jailbreak it right away if that's something that concerns you so you may have to wait for a jailbreak. But the device itself does work and everything seems to run fine so definitely check the program out if you need it. It's available here on the TunesKit website both for Windows and Mac OS and there is also a written guide available here on the website if you want to go through it. Thank you for watching, I'm GeoSnow, till the next time subscribe to stay updated and also thank you to the TunesKit team for sponsoring this video. Till the next time, peace out.